have been following a story, and it's from TikTok, right? Talk about a variety of things, you know, of course, true crime, various cults, some of the influencers. I, I tend to have a mix of everything that I talk about on my channel. So I've been following a story out of TikTok. If you don't do TikTok, then this is not something you're going to know about. But there is an influencer on TikTok, and his name is Andrew Benitez. Well over 2 million followers, okay? Pretty interesting guy. He has, he does a lot of parodies, so he goes by Andrew Benitez, but his character name is Nene, okay? And he has been part of this group where they parody what looks to be women, at least how they see women. And so they dress up and they do these parodies. Well, this little group fell out, okay, with each other. You have two individuals from that group. One of them is Jerry. The other one is Kiki. And they decided to expose some messages that they had of Andrew, a.k.a. Nene. And some of these messages consist of this. We're on the way, bro. You know what I mean? Now I have a daughter on the way. Mm -hmm. And he had a message in the group chat one time. He had asked us, he had said, What's the legal age in San Antonio to be with a, what's the minor? What's considered a minor? What's the legal age? What's the youngest you could be with on a female in Texas? Yo, what's the, what's the age of consent or some word like that? He said something like that, like basically along the line. What's the consent? That's right. That's right. The age of consent in, in Texas. What's considered uh, a minor? In yes. What's considered a minor in Texas. Yeah. Right. And and we, uh, I remember that there was a uh, girl that was 17 and that he was like gonna, he was like, he put next year it's going down or something like that. That's right. That's right. So what, what happened was uh, he was curious. What, what was the age of, of a minor here in Texas that you can, mm. uh, mm. you know, and uh, obviously you're not, what are you going to do? go to a date and have movies no yeah um it, it was it was with the intentions of frank you're gonna get laid tonight or what you're at a party make sure you roofie a female you better f her hard bro he's commanding frank basically bro there are these allegations that have been put out there about Andrew, a.k.a. Nene, right? And some of these allegations are very concerning. Now, my understanding, there haven't been any criminal charges whatsoever. There hasn't been anything out there that, you know, to say that this man has been, you know, he violated somebody. I haven't heard anything publicly. If there's rumors out there, if you're from the San Antonio area, I mean, I hope that you are getting the support and resources that you need if something has happened to you. But while I'm watching this story develop, Kiki and Jerry, the two people that were essentially putting out these allegations, right, have decided to do a podcast talking about various events, but they don't address the allegations that they put out there on their preview. So they basically told their audience on TikTok, this is a preview of what you're going to hear from this tell all podcast. And then they don't actually tell us what is actually, what is going on with these allegations, but they talk about their experiences with Andrew, AKA Nene, which is fine. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm sure that there is, you know, some deep seated hurt there, but the bigger picture is this, okay? Your friend, okay? However many years you guys were friends with him, you guys were in a group chat. This man talked about roofing a woman, right? A girl. Talk about what, what is a minor. These are things that are red flags, okay? So I'm just kind of going to say this. Why isn't there more outrage to the fact that the people aren't, we're not concerned about this, but we're concerned about your guys' relationship. To be quite honest, I don't give a shit about your relationship. I care about these allegations. Have they been reported? What happened? What came out of that? You guys just let this cat out of the bag and didn't actually fill in anybody. And honestly, it kind of, it, it's very self-serving and selfish in my opinion. You got people going on TikTok. Like I said, this is a TikTok story excusing Andrew's behavior, saying it was a joke, it was this, it was locker room talk. Y'all are putting in context for Andrew and Andrew sitting there sucking on his lollipop, not even thinking shit about this, right? So what is so infuriating for me is that while y'all wanna be apologists of that behavior and you're okay with that behavior, God knows if there's people out there that have been hurt by his behavior, allegedly and in my opinion.
Now, it's my understanding that there might be some legal stuff going on and, you know, legally he can't talk about it. Okay, then why are you guys having a panel with 2.5 thousand people in the chat while you guys are talking about the events and yet dancing around the issue? If he legally can't talk about the issue, then you don't fucking talk about the issue and you don't have panels and you don't have anything, right? But let's get it all the way together because if that was my daughter, okay, if that was your child, you guys would be singing a different tune, right? It is amazing to see, especially in the Latino community, to see how we blindly look away from this shit, how we excuse it because some man dresses up like a woman and plays a fucking kid. And you guys are living for these parasocial relationships just because you talk to him a couple hours on the phone or whatever, never really met the guy. Y'all are giving him money. His content is pretty cringe. And it's, it's a lot of support, a lot of hypocrisy. But I just hope then nobody here is a victim of anybody. And like I said, I'm side-eyeing Jerry and Kiki for not being able to just put what was out there and y'all just put these previews out there so people can go watch this video. And we did, I definitely did. But I'm side-eyeing you guys because you guys didn't put the messages out there in full context. You didn't give context for it. And so now there's this jacket out there who for all we know, maybe Andrew, AKA Nene is into some crazy ass shit with minors, or maybe he's not, maybe he doesn't understand what consent is because he's talking about roofing a woman, but y'all let's just dance around the issue. And that's the shit that pisses me off. This is not okay. And I'm just going to say that. And that's my opinion. And I'm going to post this on TikTok as well. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Cause that's where I do most of my commentary. Bye guys.